I'm with Neil Parrott. Uh, all right, so we're coming down to the last days. It is. How has the run been in your view so far? Well, Danny, thanks for asking. I'm really thankful. There are volunteers in all five counties just going crazy. I'm really <laughs> thankful. Today, there was door knocking in Montgomery, in Southern Frederick, in Northern Frederick, Hagerstown area. Yeah. I mean, and people are just really excited about this race. Yeah. And I'm very thankful. Um, you know, David Trone ran for U.S. Senate, and now he's out. Yeah. And so it's an open seat, and people say that they want to change. They want someone who's from here, who can understand and relate to them when it comes to the higher costs that we've yeah. seen under the Biden Harris. Delaney administration. My opponent, Delaney, she worked in the Commerce Department. She was appointed there, so she is a part of that administration and a part of the being responsible for the higher costs that yeah. we've seen. Yeah. So. Well, and I know as a dad, you understand, the, you know, for family to even go out to eat anymore, it's almost impossible. And a lot of people say, oh, just, you know, eat at home. And that's great, but we're trying to support the local economy. Very difficult. Oh, it's very difficult. I've talked to business owners that are struggling, people who had more disposable income just a few years ago. Yeah. Now they don't, yeah. and so they're feeling the squeeze, and of course, families are feeling the squeeze. Yeah. My neighbor called me this winter and said, hey, Neil, have you looked at your electric bill? Yes, um, same. Is this right? Yeah. And we looked at it, and unfortunately, it was right. Electricity's yeah. gone up about 30% yeah. uh, in just those three years. So yeah. it's it's really hurting people, especially yeah. those on fixed income. Yeah, for sure. They're on Social Security. You know, I want to make sure everybody continues to get those benefits yeah. and that we don't tax Social Security benefits. Yeah. Um, that's a challenge, but I can try. Yeah, I mean, yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> of, if for our viewers who it's not typically political, but everybody hopefully is out there voting, which is so important, what are the three things you'd want our viewers to know that these are your three biggest things you want to take care of? Yeah, the biggest thing is that we have to balance the budget. We mm. can't have irresponsible spending. When we do that, we're going to bring down costs. Uh, we need to make sure that we secure our southern border. Right now, 2,000 Marylanders are dying each year from fentanyl deaths, mm. and it's a direct result of that open border. We have to secure it. Yeah. We need to build the wall, and where we can't, and even where we can, we need to have electronic surveillance above and below yeah. the wall. And we also need to bring back good paying jobs to this area, and especially. Western Maryland, we need to have manufacturing jobs return to this area. Yeah. And it takes policies at the federal level to help yeah. encourage those jobs to come back here. Yeah. You know, I feel sorry. I went to Luke, Maryland, which is in Allegheny County, mm. just a, about a month ago, talked to their mayor and council, had yeah. a great meeting. But I'm looking out across from the meeting, I'm seeing the Luke paper mill, which just shut down. It devastated yeah. that town. And it's very recent. That was about a year and a half ago. Okay. So yeah. it's things like that. You see how it hurts people. We need to bring those jobs back to this yeah, area. Yeah, absolutely. What do your kids think of all this? Well, you know, they're a little bit older. So 22, <laughs> 20, and 18. Yeah. Uh, one's in college, so she's not, uh, she's probably happy she's not to be involved in this. One just got a job, really proud of her. Oh, she just graduated awesome. from college in, the, in May, yeah. has a great job. So I'm yeah. happy for her. And my son, he's a senior in high school. Yeah. They're all helping me. They're all going to be here on election day, working yeah. the polls. My wife's working the polls. I couldn't do it without the support of my family. Oh, yeah. So. I don't know. My daughter yeah. hides from me. She's 19. The 21-year-old's away at college, too, so right. I get it. I get it. I don't know if they want to have anything to do with me right now, but it's all good. All right. Well, look, we really wish you all the best. We know it's been a long journey, and we really hope that you come out on top. That's, I appreciate yeah. it. They, and if I do, I plan to work really di diligently for all five counties, but especially Frederick. You know, yeah. my when I first got married, we moved to Middletown. My wife taught at Middletown High School. I was the deputy director of public works at the city of Frederick. It was really just the city engineer <laughs> yeah. at the city of Frederick. I worked for about seven years here at the state highway for yeah. Frederick. And a lot of the projects, my own company, Traffic Solutions Incorporated, have been here in Frederick. So oh, that's awesome. I want to do what I can to help well, our Well, I am going to ask you now, I ask a lot of my guests, what are the top three things you love about Frederick? Oh, look, the Carroll Creek yeah. is wonderful. Yeah. You know, what they've done there is just phenomenal. And people don't know it, but if you go underneath, the, that stormwater management project. So as an engineer, I'm a civil engineer. That's just <laughs> incredible. Think, yeah, you can I drive a bus through all four of those. Um, so if there's a big storm, yeah. the water gets diverted right underneath the city of Frederick, comes out on the other end. I mean, well, the it, funny thing is anytime newcomers are in Frederick after a big rain and they're like, oh, it's flooded in Baker Park. It's like it's supposed to. That's, that's right. It's diverted that's right. out of everywhere else. That's the way it's supposed to work. I mean, that's just an amazing project. It is. Um, it is. They did a phenomenal job. And the beautification above it has yeah. really allowed for growth oh, yeah. uh, and people have taken advantage of it. Yeah. There's so many wonderful things I can say about Frederick. I, I was at the Gaber Farm today. That's, oh, yeah? You know, 
beautiful out Just there. Just interviewed them the other day on our show. Yeah. Yeah. It's so amazing. It's beautiful. And I have to tell you, I'm opposed to the NPRP project. Yeah. Because that's going to really hurt the farm. I, I talked to them. They might even have to close down. Yeah. If that goes through, because it's such an agritourism. Yeah. People go there for the experience and for the beauty, and that would interfere with the beauty and actually takes away a lot of their Christmas tree farm land. Yeah. It's not. It's not beneficial to Frederick. No, and the fact that farmers have to lean on agritourism to help support their farming, which they are a working farm, you know, that's, right. it's, it's, that's also, you know, disappointing. And that project really came out of nowhere, it seems, to a lot of the people. And I know there's a lot of people really opposed to it. Actually, I think only the people that are for it are the people who are going to benefit. It. That's I think right. you're right about that. That's right. It doesn't help us at all. Everyone in Frederick County is yeah. going to pay a surcharge yeah. to have their that transmission lines, but it's not helping Frederick. No. They're saying less than 5% of the electricity will go to Frederick. Right. It's all coming from Pennsylvania and going to Leesburg, Virginia yeah. to feed those data centers. Yeah. And I say if Leesburg, Virginia needs more power, then they should build the power they right there. They need to figure it out. Yeah. They, all right, one more. If someone said, hey, I got 24 hours to spend in Frederick, what would you say is the must-do thing? Oh, my, in Frederick. You know, it's funny. Um, my first night we spent to Frederick here at a bed and breakfast at the um, Tyler Spite House. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, it's not a bed and breakfast no. anymore, so I can't recommend that. <laughs> no, you can't. But I think the uh, owners would not be too happy about no, that. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. But we loved it. That yeah. was great for our honeymoon. Uh, and then we continued west after that. Nice. Um, Look, there's so many great things to do. Obviously, Carroll Parkway. Yeah, yeah. You have to go there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. I'm from Washington County. So my yeah, immediate thoughts go, we'll go to Antietam yeah. Battlefield. Yeah. But that's Washington County. I know, I know. So, Although it's close. It's, well, you, you know, know, you do have a battlefield here, which is beautiful as yeah, well. The Monocacy. Monocacy. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. And that's a really nice one. Yeah. Well, we love that we geeked you out on the Carroll Creek Project. I think that's <laughs> great as an engineer. Neil Parrott. Hopefully on Tuesday he's on top, and then we get things fixed in our state. We'd love that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Awesome.